So, hello, uh, everyone again. I thought I'd give you a small update. Uh, I wasn't that productive in the last uh, weeks, at least not from a casting and metalworking perspective. Did some experimentation and the testing on the bicycle system, but uh, so this is um, oh, a lot of things went wrong. I, bought some copper stuff and I uh, was a little too fast and uh, it wasn't copper, it was some deco gravel stuff. Kind of looked exactly the same because it was some uh, it was some glass that is vapor coated with copper or so. So I had to remelt some scrap um, and cast this part here. It turned out kind of okay. I had some problems with the mold. Uh, we'll cut in a small shot on that uh, at the end. I kind of forgot to uh, press the record button while casting, but uh, on the other end it would be just another casting shot. Nothing really uh, special to see. Um, this thing turned out okay from the fine details. I had to have some sand falling in there, but I can clean it up with a um, small die grinder. And uh, the only problem is that there's a small warp to it. It's not much. I'm um, not sure if you can show that. It's a little high in the middle. Ah, sorry. Um, I will try to file that off, or um, if that doesn't work, I uh, can also try to machine that. It's not that much, after all, it's only a uh, part that has to look good and uh, the tolerances are not that critical. I mean, this part has to, uh, the finished wheel has to be drilled or reamed and uh, put on a mandrel and then has to be done some plunge cutting to form the groove for the, um, for the uh, tire, for the o-ring. So, yeah, that looks kind of okay. The fine detail is reproduced really nice. You can see all the layers from the printing, and uh, but it's, there's an overall warp to it that is kind of uh, not that ideal, but uh, if that doesn't turn out to work, I have to do it the old school way. That means I have to get out my small dividing head, that is basically the size of the thing. Put a face plate on it and, and all kind of awkward, non-ideal setup and then mill it. But uh, I will cast the second part anyway and try that. Just file it, try to get it uh, fitting and uh, do some testing on it with the zinc. If that turns out, I mean, I mean I will use the induction furnace for melting the zinc, which is kind of overkill, but if it turns out to uh, work, if the whole mold thing works, I will um, build some melting pot, because it's basically pot metal, you can melt it in steel. Uh, with with heating and some uh, maybe some relief faucet on the uh, on the bottom side so that I can easily cast that one after the other because the whole point is to uh, do small series. If I would just need one part or so, it wouldn't wouldn't be any use to make a permanent mold. 
So that's the update on that zinc wheel experiment. Another small thing, I bought uh, 10 of those bullshit labeled um, cells. They are the um, 18650 thing, the standard lithium cells. They were quite cheap. Um, I'm pretty sure they're not 5000, that's total bullshit. Normally that size is around 3000. But I measured them uh, when they arrived and they were all, nearly all above, above um, 4 volts, which means they are kind of fresh. They discharge over time and normally I would expect a uh, lithium cell, if I get it, to have something 3.6, 3.7 volts or so. But they were nearly all above 4. One were uh, 3.6, so um, maybe that's uh, the older batch and they just put it together. So, yeah, one of the cheapest stuff I could get on Amazon. But um, they seem to be okay, other than the 5,000, that's total bullshit. But uh, there were something like 2 bucks uh, 60 each or so. And this will be the, um, will be the cells for the battery, uh, the external battery for the bicycle sound system, or the bicycle power system basically. I will use um, three times three, three in parallel, and then uh, three in series. And uh, I've ordered some some holders for them, where you can just put them in. Thought it would be nice to have a system where you can replace the battery with some, or the batteries with some, or the cells in the battery with some standard stuff that is uh, available. I don't want to build something where you cannot change a uh, part like a battery or so. So that's basically it for me. I will uh, have to design a system with um, for the holder and so on. Put it uh, on the bicycle. Some system where I can put it in some kind of sleeve and, and lock it and then remove it to use it on a laptop or whatever. So they, they look good. I also bought some uh, silicon but unfortunately um, that was a total failure. I um, just ordered a kilogram of silicon I uh, didn't realize that it was fine powder and I couldn't get it to mix in the bronze so um, yeah that was a bad idea anyway I have to get some uh, more coarse crushed stuff uh, to get the silicon and the aluminium bronze well anyway that's it for me there will be now some small shots on that mold for this thing and then uh, yeah thanks for watching and um, i hope i can uh, do some more stuff in that week yet um or well, this week it's uh, to get basically get this thing to a point where i can test the um, zinc casting basically but for now that's it and uh, see you in the next video. So this is the first attempt. Unfortunately I broke out some of the sand. Not sure if you can see that. Other than that uh, should be able to reproduce the uh, detail required. If I can extract it without breaking something out, but so far it looks good. 
So I could just uh, flip it over and pop it on, but I think I have to be a little more careful. Okay, I've uh, put some holes in here, I heated up the screws and uh, just put them in. And then I removed the uh, burr with a sharp knife. So now I can uh, hopefully extract it like this so in a parallel motion and it will not flip out because this is what basically happened here it flipped out and uh, it should go straight up or straight down and it kind of did this motion and, yeah so i have to redo that now and hopefully that will work but it should so this time it worked kind of small break out here small piece there but other than that it looks good and um, those will be oh, this will be excess material anyway so I can clean the finished permanent mold um, with a, a small grinder shouldn't be that problematic 